So I received a question the other day. It goes like this. Antonio, are men nowadays less masculine compared to men in the past? Seriously, everything I see on TV, everything I see in the movies, everything I see on media seems to be making men out to be idiots. And the men that are being put up as examples are wearing skinny jeans and makeup. My question is simple. Where have the real men gone? My hope is I'm just overreacting. Please let me know. Sincerely, PT. Thanks, PT. It's a great question. Are men becoming less masculine? The answer? Well, gentlemen, that's the subject of today's video. So, what's my opinion? Well, I'm going to share that at the end of this video because first, I want to talk about history. What have people throughout time been talking about changes in masculinity? Because guess what? They've been happening for a while. Next up, let's talk about perspective. Where are you coming from? And finally, let's talk about the definition of masculinity. What exactly is it? So, here's a quote from a magazine. Let's see if you can guess the date. Where's the manly vigor and athletic appearance of our forefathers? Can these men be their legitimate heirs? Surely, no race of effeminate, self-admiring, emancipated fribbles could ever have descended in a direct line from the heroes of past. I've Obviously, somebody here is upset with the less than manly appearance of these young men. So, what do you think? 2010? 1990? Maybe 1970? I bet some of you guys are thinking even farther back, 100 years, 1920s. Actually, gents, that's a quote from 1771. It was a letter in Town & Country Magazine republished in Paris fashion. And gents, that's just the tip of the iceberg. If you go out there and you do your research, you're going to see people have been complaining about other people, about masculinity, about the way they dress since the beginning of time. Next up, let's talk about how masculinity is affected by perception and what it means and what it doesn't mean to define something as masculine. But before we get into that, let's talk about today's sponsor, Keeps. Shut up and take my money. Now, when I think of a masculine man, I think of a guy that has confidence. A guy who knows who he is and feels good about himself. Unfortunately, for a lot of guys that start to lose their hair, their confidence can disappear. And guys, that's why I love Keeps. They make it easy. They make it affordable for you to be able to keep your hair. So, if you haven't heard of Keeps, they're a subscription service. They focus on helping men treat their male pattern baldness online. With online doctor consultations, automated shipping, delivery to your home, constant access to your doctor through messaging, and they offer offer generic options of the FDA-approved medications for hair loss. In summary, everything you need in one place to keep the hair you've got. Now, the reality is, gents, two out of three of you are going to experience some form of male pattern baldness before the age of 35. Prevention is key. As soon as you start to notice you're losing hair, you want to get started immediately. All that being said, guys, don't just take my word for it. Go over to their website and look at all of the five-star reviews. There's a reason these guys have more five-star reviews than any of their competitors. Affordable, convenient, and easy. If you are starting to experience hair loss, you need to check out Keeps. Gents, if you're ready to take action and prevent hair loss, go to keeps.com slash RMRS. I've also got that link in the description and make sure to use it. That way, you make sure you're getting the best deal on the web. Again, gents, that's keeps.com slash RMRS. Great company, solid product. I'm proud to support it. And now, let's talk perspective. So, I asked my son this question the other day and he didn't think so, but then again, he's only 17 years old and his view is one that's probably much more narrow. He hasn't lived as long as me. I'm 45 years old. I'm a father, husband, business owner, military veteran. I have a perception of what masculinity is and in my definition, it does seem that, yeah, it's just not as many of what I perceive to be masculine men around as there used to be. But for a guy that's maybe 75, 65, he may actually disagree with me. He may agree. A lot of this depends on your background. What is your viewpoint? Where are you coming from? And now, finally, at this point, I'm getting to the meat of the video. How do you define masculinity? So, I went to Reddit and I found a few definitions. Fishy Taquitos says, by definition, anything a man does is manly. I'm sorry, Fishy Taquitos, but I think that that is a stupid, okay, maybe that's a harsh word, lazy response. Seriously, anything a man does is manly, so I can trip and fall, that's manly. I can go out and hurt somebody, I could kill somebody, and that would be manly. No, the definition of manly is not anything a man does. Another definition proposed by BSM Productions was, a masculine man is supposed to be the guy that goes and sweeps the woman off her feet by taking control and being a fearless leader. He's supposed to make the first move. Now, that's a definition maybe some of you guys are going to want to agree with, but personally, I don't like it. I don't 
don't think a guy has to make the first move, has to sweep a woman off his feet, has to be a fearless leader. These are maybe in some people's minds, nice traits to have, but I don't think they define you as being masculine. Now, for my definition, I'm going to go back to about 350 BC. And about that time, there was a guy named Aristotle. You may have heard of him. He defined masculinity as living a life of eudaimonia. What does that mean? It's basically translated as living a life of human flourishing, of excellence, of basically being all that you can be. I really like that definition. In fact, I created a coin that in a sense is a compass. It's got four directions, four areas in my life that I want to work on. I want to constantly improve. Those areas, wisdom, curiosity, passion, and strength. And on the back of that coin, I have my core values, honor, courage, commitment, and a quote that motivates me in those times that, yes, I'm going through some tough issues. Now, notice how that definition had nothing to do with comparisons, making a man better than anyone else. It was all about the man looking to become his best, about seeking self-excellence, about figuring out and finding that diamond that is within you, understanding that, okay, it's going to be pressure and heat that's going to take me and shape me into what I want to become. And I got to give credit to Brett McKay. He actually shaped a lot of my thinking on this over at The Art of Manliness. And he talks about how being masculine is not the opposite of being feminine. It's actually the opposite of being a child, of being childlike. When you become a man, you leave the ways of being a child. A child is dependent on others, you know, is selfish. All these things that we define as being childish, well, you leave that when you become a man. And a woman can have all the same virtues, pretty much, that a man has. And in fact, to be, you know, womanhood, that's a whole separate thing. But what we're talking about here is not a competition of just it's simply a man. I mean, there is a competition. It's you're competing against yourself and the man you were yesterday. Can you be better than him? Can you take a small step in the right direction to become the man you know yourself to be? Now, gents, you know, I love to motivate you and I got some coins I'd love to send your way. Just let me know down in the comments, what does it mean to you? to be a man, to be masculine. Well, how would you answer this question? Do you think that we are becoming less masculine than years before? I personally think we are not. I think that there are so many great young men out there that are embodying what it means to be a man. I do think that the definition and what is normal has shifted as it always shifts. As one generation replaces the next, we see just uprisings. We see, you know, one bad idea replaced with another bad idea. The point being is human beings, you know, we just naturally evolve and change. And it's something that I do not view, you know, anyone like Harry Styles. I don't think he's any less than me. I love the guy's music. You know what? I'm all for the younger generation living and becoming their best selves. Now, you agree, disagree, let me know down in the comments. And guys, again, I've got some awesome coins. I would love to send them your way. And if you enjoyed today's video, do me a favor, smash that like button and let the YouTube algorithm know, hey, Antonio, you need to make more videos like this and hopefully more guys who need this video will find it. All right, gents, so what video to watch next? How about how to always look your best? Seriously, always look good by following the tips in this video. It's a good one, guys. And yeah, it doesn't matter if it's two o'clock in the morning, if it's two in the afternoon, you're going to look good following these tips. Guys, check out this video. It's a good one. I'll hold it up here. Yeah, click it. Check it out. It's a good one.